Welcome back. Freedom fighters are undecided over accepting awards on 18th June in the government functions. Some are ready to accept the honor, some intend to boycott, whereas many are in a dilemma. Freedom Fighters Association has already appealed all to skip the Revolution Day function. There seems to be a mixed reaction from the Freedom Fighters fraternity on whether to receive the state award on June 18th. Although all have backed the Freedom Fighters Association on the contentious issue of medium of instruction, some have decided to go ahead and receive the state award. full support And I will support them. But एक गोष्ट जरूर की जर माका इनवाइट के लो फेलेसिटेट कर पाक दाल आईल गो एंड आई एक्सेप्ट दैट भाषा माध्यम में सब बोलते हैं कि हम सब विरोध आसा सागर जो कि तब प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस उदामी करते हैं सागर तो विरोध आसा आप उन्हें तो हम ही ऐकर चेंडा पुनः वह सत्कार आसा तो सत्कार करो ना हम गैर Family members of late freedom fighters Krishna Shet Gaonkar and Biku Dargalkar from Pedne have backed out from accepting the honor on Goa Revolution Day. We are freedom fighters in the country and we are going to go to Hitler 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 and we are going to go to Hitler. जब ते बातचीत हुई थी यहाँ ते का विरोध अन्य ते अंदर अपनी सरकार से तो कुरुण क्या निशान में ना गई जब तुलसीदास मालकर नेकर प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ सीनियर सिटिजेंस एसोसिएशन हैज आल्सो डिसाइडेड टू बॉयकॉट द स्टेट सेलिब्रेशन प्रादेशिक भाषा चरण ने तो प्रयत्न किया अन्य ते मुझे पत्र कर लें ते जी विरुद्ध जी आजाद में जाने जरूर मना दो समारम में जाकर लोग सरकारी तेजीर जेस्ट नागरिक आने बिस्कर गलत हो। However, there are some freedom fighters who say that they are in favour of regional languages but are not sure whether to accept the honour by the state government or not। मैं आज उन्हें जेस्ट चार सौ विचार करूँ ना पर माका मराठी जाए। अनिते संगठन से आज उनका आमका तो सर यही होंगे ना मंजे निरोध बेकार ही होंगे हम ची संगठन साधन से निकल चाहिए आनु टेच्चा कर सांग का क्या है अदन का खबर कराऊँ ना आने आम का गवर्नमेंट आ कर सुनी क्या है आ ये योग ना कल कागज योग ना किरे योग ना तो परंतु आमी का ये ना तो परंतु आमी कर लो निर्णय क्यों शक्कर ना ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट प्रूडेंट मीडिया एंड नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट The High Court has expressed its displeasure over the action taken by the Pollution Control Board and the Kolwa Panchayat in tackling the pollution at Kolwa. The Court has now directed the Directorate of Health Services, the South Goa Collector and the Pollution Control Board to take action against the hotels and restaurants who are polluting the Kolwa Creek by discharging sewage. They have also asked them to undertake the cleaning of the creek and file a compliance report within four weeks. The government has submitted the medium of instruction circular in the High Court. It was issued by the government to schools last week. The petitioner will now consider the same during the next hearing that will be held on June 20th. A writ petition was filed in the High Court praying for the granting of aid to schools without discrimination on the medium of instruction. The prayer stressed on the enforcement of Article 21A and the right to free and compulsory education act. The Advocate General appearing on behalf of the government had stated in court that the government has decided to grant aid to schools imparting primary education in the English medium on certain terms and conditions. In the petition filed against the construction of the proposed TV cricket stadium, the High Court has ordered a status quo on the construction activity for two weeks. A petition was filed challenging that the Comunidad land was illegally allotted to the GCA without holding a public auction. Advocate General Subodh Kantak, appearing on behalf of the state, said it would scrutinize all complaints in the matter and submit its decision during the next hearing of the case. A major fire broke out in petroleum agency at Mercedes on Tuesday night. Short circuit in the go-down caused this fire. Estimated loss is around 15 lakhs. 
Fire broke out at Krishnarook Agency on Tuesday night. The agency deals in petroleum products. Short circuit in the godown melted the petroleum filled barrels. The roof of the godown blew off. Owner has claimed loss of more than 50 lakhs. However, no major injuries are reported. Security guard who was present at the spot during this incident informed us more. तो इसके बाद साहब को फोन किए। फोन किए तो उन लोग आए। उन लोग आए। उन लोग आने के बाद वो ए गाड़ी को फोन किए। दमकल गाड़ी को लिवानी का। उसको फोन किए। तो उधर आग लग गया था। तो उन लोग आए लिवाए। तकरीबन कितने बजे ये हुआ सर? अब दो बजे। दो बजे रात को। हाँ। क्या क्या था � अंदर तो ऑयल था और सामान था ऑयल। फायर ब्रिगेड रीच्ड एट द साइट एंड कंट्रोल द फायर। प्लस हमें ओल्गोआ गाड़ी मार लो। उसे इतने भयंकर ना गास लो कि चांसेस नस्ले आने कोण पाले लक्ष्मण ने आजले कंप्लीट एक बैरल जर फुट्टा तो तो कंप्लीट एक घरासा हुए चला आजले। भीतर सब गाड़ियों भीतर लामी सेव क a reporter from Panji, Devidas Kamli with video journalist Sushant Par. Now, Panjim Citizens Action Committee has voiced their opinion on the erstwhile Bandotka Stadium. They have demanded that the proposed football stadium at Kampal be shifted outside the capital city. Committee says this stadium will create traffic congestion not only at Kampal but across Panji. Committee says proposed stadium can be shifted to Raibandar, Chimbal and even Santa Cruz. CCP Corporator Kabir Makija Pinto is also a part of this Panjim Citizens Action Committee. Their Panjim Citizens Action Committee is upset with a 5,000-seater football stadium at the place where once erstwhile Bandorka Stadium stood. The proposed stadium is expected to have very less space for vehicle parking. We are not opposed to having a football ground per se on the site which is proposed for the stadium. The ground should be made to help the local clubs practice and do whatever they want there and also give opportunity to the public to go and use it and not have a ridiculous stadium. We have ample amount of area around Panjim, which is uh, okay. outside the city, which could be uh, Ribandar or Chimbel or the fields in uh, Santa Cruz. Committee says they would take appropriate action if their demands are not met. Kabir Makija is of the opinion that a stadium with less sitting capacity like the one at Taligao would be beneficial for the city. But in case if government plans to have a 5,000-seater stadium, then the whole city will fall in chaos. Panjim is already saturated. Point number three is that there's loads of traffic congestion and parking problems and loads of exhibitions on parade ground, on uh, Kala Academy, and we're already facing problems. Parking is there on DB Mark, parking is there on the pavements, parking is there on people's private passages, and we, we cannot live life like this. So we want it outside the city. You can build for 10,000, 15,000. We, no, we have no objection. And this ground should be for the locals as well as uh, all the residents of the area should be able to use this. A senior reporter from Panji, Rakesh Kandolkar, with video journalist Anil Sanadi. News from sports when we come back from a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs>